Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this evening's Order for Compliment. It's good to have you back again to listen to this evening's compliment. I hope you'll share it with your friends. We need some uplifting at the end of the day, and then a tough day, at the end of a week, where they're not doing so good. But it's always good when we can share you know, the love of Christ and share the scripture and share the gospel and share some of the good news of what God represents and who he is in our lives. So our comment is going to begin on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Before we begin, let's take a moment to quiet our minds and quiet our hearts and prepare for the service. Again, Order for Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> the Lord Almighty grant us a perfect peace, peaceful night, and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 4, found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See on the bottom of page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks. Be to God. See on page 132. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. 
Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. And hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, to forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, we will offer up our own intercessions and prayers, prayers of thanksgivings, intercessions for others, for ourselves. I will uh, start out with a prayer, and then I will leave time for you to, to leave your own. Then. And as I always say, I'm saying I think every, every week, so I always say that, you know, you can say them silently or aloud. God will hear them either way. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I thank you for the many blessings that you've given me in my life, and I am thankful for them. I give you thanksgiving for those. Lord, I'm thankful for family, for friends, thankful for my parish, thankful for the outreach house, for all the outreach houses throughout the world, throughout the country, everywhere, who are serving humbly to do their best to live out the commandments that you have given us. Feed the poor, and shelter them, take care of them. Lord, I ask you to be with all those in the election tonight, or the election that was on Tuesday, rather, that uh, things worked out well, that they will do the right things. They will govern rightly and justly and do all the things that need to be done in this country throughout our various towns and cities, throughout our various states. Lord, I ask you to be with those who are suffering, those with COVID, those with any sickness or illness, those with cancer, those who treat them. Be with them, Lord, and give them strength. Be with them daily. So we know all doctors and nurses, EMTs, and firefighters, police, all of them are constantly bombarded with not always bad news, but mostly. If they need comfort too, they need to be held in your arms of love and mercy. This time you may offer up your own prayers in your own session.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continuing on page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty, merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our compliment for this evening. May you have a restful night. Get some sleep. Tomorrow will come. More opportunities will come. Just remember that no matter what happens throughout your day and your nights, that you're never alone. That you always have someone that you could can rely on that will always be there for you. you know, and always lay your troubles at the feet of God. He'll be there. Draw on him for strength. Ask him for your guidance. He's there to love you, grace, to have mercy, and to be with you, never, ever forsaking you. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed week. Until we meet again. Good night.